All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mortgage Coach and Win by Noon Friday Mastermind with myself uh, as one of the co-hosts and the other co-host, Todd Booksman. What's up, Todd? Hey, not much. Not much. It's always uh, great to start my Friday with you, Dave. Uh, dude, it's that's one of the, the the silver linings of these COVID times. We've we've not been traveling as much, so we're we're consistently showing up together on this thing, which has been a blast. And uh, it was great seeing you in San Diego a few weeks ago. Can't wait to do the next one. Yeah, that was. Uh, it's it's always better to to get to do it in person. And for those of you who watched, you right, you saw Dave and I sitting under one of my favorite trees in the world at the beautiful Torrey Pines Resort. That was a blast. Yeah, no, that was great. So, guys, that was a. The Modern Real Estate Summit, thousands of realtors, thousands of mortgage professionals, all getting better together. And, and one of the themes we want to do on these Friday masterminds is we're going to be bringing realtors who are on that stage into the Friday mastermind. And today we're bringing Jonathan Roach, our, our very own performance coach, uh, who consistently helps mortgage coach, who coaches a lot of mortgage coaches on how to get their energy to a level five. Uh, Jonathan, welcome. Welcome to the call today, brother. Yeah, awesome. Excited to be back. Thanks for having me, Dave and Todd. I'm really excited to unpack some cool material today. Well, I, I'm, I'm excited to see how you're going to deliver on what we put in the headline, you know, like uh, three moves to 10x. Uh, I can't wait to, to hear what the, what the content is around that. I do want to frame for everyone, you know, this call is going to be an example of how to take action from some of the content and some of the speakers. Jonathan was a speaker at the Modern Real Estate Summit. So we're gonna feature him in that session. We'll, we'll talk about how can you take what we're gonna talk about today. And then really my goal is at the end, you've got a little realtor meeting in a box. From what Jonathan said, you've got the teacher's notes, you've got the coaching notes, you've got something that you could take and you could do a half hour or a 15 minute realtor session where you're pumping up realtors and you're helping them win. Todd, anything else you want to frame or mention before we, we get into the topic at hand with Jonathan? You know, I, I, I'm not going to frame. I'm just going to do a, a shameless plug for because I just got my new Win by Noon coffee mug this week. I'm drinking my Bulletproof coffee. You Did you make your own Bulletproof coffee or are you buying I made my own Bulletproof, Bulletproof coffee? coffee. And it's, it's two-sided. Every day is winning for Winning by Noon, and it comes in two sizes. If you go to shop.winbynoon.com, It'll pop up a little thing. You put your email address and it'll give you 10% off your first order. You can get some cool stickers as well as the cool mortgage coach sticker, not in one, but three different sizes. So shop.winbynoon.com shop would love to uh, have you guys on board promoting the gear. Yeah, make sure you guys represent. And uh, remember all you mortgage coaches out there that I get instant messages all the time. Hey, how do I get stickers? Well, three different sizes of stickers at shop.winbynoon.com. Check it out. Uh, all right. So, so Jonathan, you, uh, you've got a message. You, you, you were part of that event. You saw some of that event and then you were like, Dave, I got an idea. Let's do this. So why don't you frame what we're going to do and then let's, uh, get into your topics. Yeah. Awesome. The first thing I just want to say for the team is all this materials there, all this content, whether you're talking about the modern real estate summit or you're talking the private Facebook page that, that Dave populates and Todd with all these amazing speakers and information, the key is action, which is what Dave identified. Like we've got to take it, take action on it, leverage it to over deliver to anyone we're blessed to serve, whether it's a family with their mortgage needs or it's a real estate professional. So really we're going to key in on some super simple concepts, but what I would invite you to do is come to this conversation with the intention that, you're going to leave taking action. You're going to implement. It's not going to be perfect, but some action is better than waiting to perfection and having no action. I want you to jump in. And then again, I think what you'll find is the value you bring to these different audiences will go up exponentially. A big part of that though, is setting that intention. And really a, a, a key part of it is your standards and your expectations around how you want to show up, how you want to partner. There's a difference between someone who's kind of passive with say their real estate professional partners and someone that is hyper focused on value. And really what you're trying to do, I think, is just do two things, figure out what's causing them pain. And then what are things that are irritating for them? 
And I think I'm not a mortgage professional nor am I a real estate professional, but if you think of what's going on in the marketplace right now, it's you know minimal inventory, bidding wars, huge frustration. So as your coach today, as your peak performance coach, and I'm blessed to coach a lot of people in the mortgage industry, including three out of the top 30 originators. I get it. I get the pace. I get the intensity. The key is to decide that even though the numbers have been amazing, you're serving all these people, there's still such a tremendous opportunity to elevate. And in regards to today's topic, this idea of three simple key moves, not easy, but simple, to cause your real estate professional partners to think of you as invaluable. That's where the 10x value, where they're like, I would never work with anyone else. Of course I'm working with Michael, or of course I'm working with this person. But that is something you need to be super intentional about. That's not about, you know, excuse my candor here, but that's not about charisma, where you can show up and you get out of the car and you get your suit on and you look good. It's not about that. It's about another level. And the key to that is doing the work pre-meeting. I have a call at three o'clock today with one of the most amazing athletes on the planet. I'm not worried about it because I've been preparing for it big time for a long time. My negative voice, once we get worried about it, I'm not worried about it. All the preparation has happened. Your number one key, which I'll point out out of these three key habits, is your energy and your vibe. Not just because you want to show up and be energized and positive and eye contact and look at someone like, man, he's about to take the mountain. I want to be part of this. Not just that, but your energy and your vibe correlate with your confidence. That's a super simple statement, you guys. But your confidence is a lot of what your real estate professional partners in the families that you're blessed to serve as a, as a mortgage professional. That's really a big component of why they agree to have you on the bus. Obviously, there's your expertise, the whole energy vibe, you need that. But at the end of the day, it's confidence. Can you help them navigate this incredible, important decision for their family? And then for the real estate professional partners, can you make them look good? Can you over deliver to their clients? Can you be a layup to work with? And that first thing is your energy. And I talk about it from zero to five. I've talked about it a lot over the last couple of months when I've been blessed to be on with Dave and Todd. It's zero is you dragging, five, you're on fire. And the bar should be five. The bar should be, you're the most positive person in the room. You're the most positive person in the Zoom call. You're fired up to get after it. You've got your sleep. You've got your water. You've consumed positive content. And it sounds ridiculous, but you almost want to get out of bed in the morning, foaming at the mouth to get after it. Who are you going to serve? Who are you going to elevate today? Whose pain are you going to solve? Whose irritations are you going to decrease through the value you bring? So that first key tip is about your energy and how you show up. And when you do the work, when the lights are off, same thing for an athlete, same thing for an executive, same thing for a modern mortgage professional. When you do the work, when the lights are off, lights come on, it's supernatural. You're not fidgety. You're not, you're fired up. You can't wait. Dave or Todd, you guys want to jump in on this first key tip? The only thing I want to add at this point is, is just a reminder that I have been hearing from top producers, and it was never more clear than my interviews last week with uh, Shante Abbott, that, that it's never been easier to recruit realtors. Like, they are having more problems than ever. Uh, they've just come out of a season where their loan offer wasn't available. So there's, there's just never been more opportunity for you to build new relationships with agents that you haven't had relationships or to go from being in, you know, third string player to a second string player, go from a second string player to a starter. Uh, I just want you guys to, to think and maybe put some thought into how many agents referred me business over the last year. And then how many referrals did I get? And then, and then where do I sit? Am I first string, second string or third string? So just never been a bigger opportunity and love, love what you're saying. I, I don't think I have anything to add to the whole energy piece other than I agree with you. Todd, anything you want to add? Or well, ask? I, I love what, I love what you just said, Dave, about, about elevating your game, right? Going from third to second to first and who you're going after. And I always love it, Jonathan. I mean, you're, you do such a good job of reminding us that your energy and your vibe equals your confidence. And it's just really how you show up. And yeah, I mean, Shanti told us last week that it was definitely easier than ever for him. And, you know, I continue to hear about, there's so much content in our community, right? Whether you were part of the 
modern real estate summit or not, like Bill Hart reached out to me yesterday and said, Hey, I'm logging into my past, you know, give me, you know, point me in the direction of, of some videos to watch. And so I know the community is still going in there, right? Remember, if you have a pass, you still have two more weeks, uh, almost two more weeks, like 10 more days where you can access it for free. Um, so don't forget that you can still get in there and, and remind your agents. But I just love that whole idea on showing up with your energy. Like that's, um, I think that's what we forget. So Jonathan, keep going, keep reminding us of how we can be better and be more confident. Hey, and real quick, before you jump back, I do want to remind folks, like every Friday, Todd are get, and I are going to be bringing in speakers. Last week, it, we didn't bring in a speaker, but Shante Abbott had bought 100 tickets and, and was talking about, hey, how am I using it post-event to add value to realtors? And that is the name of the game. The more value you bring to realtors, the more successful 2021 will be. And, and then, of course, the more successful 2022 will be. So keep it rocking, Jonathan. I'll just uh, want to piggyback off of what you said, though, Dave, about it's never been an easier time. And I watched Shantae's video, his whole like calm demeanor is to me, that's confidence. That's just my view. Like you can read. Confidence. No, you, you could just see like confidence with who he is, yep. confidence with what he's doing. Like the guy yep. was in the zone. Yep. Bingo. And so this idea of there's never been a better time to earn the opportunity to truly partner at a deep level, with real estate professional partners, that is spot on, not just because of the chaos of multiple offers and all of that, but also if you look at the majority of, uh, or a big chunk of the mortgage community, it's been an exhausting eight months and they've had to push, the volume has been intense, operationally, people are still trying to catch up to the volume, They've had to juggle that with kids being home, working from home, all these complexities. So a lot of people came into the health situation. I don't use the word, I think, as you guys know, I just call it the health situation. They came, in, came into that and they didn't have the emotional endurance to get through it. This isn't a jab, by the way, but this is pretty spot on, I think. And so what's happened is they've just kind of held on. Volume's been amazing. Deals flowing in. There's been some you know, holes in the boat they haven't been able to fix. So they're not in a state unless they have an energy level of five to say, all right, I just trounced a nine hour day, but I'm going to make that extra call. I'm going to follow up with the real estate professional partner, which is something that voicemail I've been trying to get a meeting with multiple months. And that again is based on your energy level. So just to, again, piggybacking off what you just shared, Dave, which is there's never been a better time. I compare it to an athlete and this may sound super competitive. I'm a very competitive person. That's how I guide my athletes and my executives, which is there's exploitable opportunities in the marketplace right now. There's a lot of, I don't want to call them lazy people, but tired people that are just continuing to do what they've always done. And then the level fives are like, forget this. I'm going to elevate in the midst of the chaos and the volume and everything else. I'm going to go right into the pain point of my real estate professional partners, solve that, spoon feed them solutions, whether it's a video from the modern real estate summit that says, here's a video from Kelly. She explains you know, one of your key uh, pain points. Here's a three or four line item she, you know, cut, that she provided. And it's just value, value. And everyone else is saying, you know, I'm available. If you want to stay at three or four, continue what, to do what you've always done. If you want to be number one, there is an effort that needs to be put into that. But there's a couple things. Number one, it's a blast. When you're at energy level five and you feel confident, you get on the call with anyone, any meeting with a real estate professional partner, you know they're going to partner with you. They, you know they're going to move you to number one. And then two, again, thinking in terms of competition, we're really not in competition with anyone else except for ourselves. But if you decide to elevate yourself, energy, vibe, follow-up, meticulousness, taking the tools, whether it's modern real estate summit or something else, and doing the extra work, watching the videos. I don't need to watch the videos on the Facebook page, you can say, why does he watch them? He's a peak performance coach because I'm blessed to serve some of the most remarkable people on the planet that happen to be mortgage professionals. So I watch all of them and then I write notes and then I spoon feed them <laughs> and I would send them the link to the video and say, oh, check it out. Dave had this guy, Shante, here's the key notes. That comes down to energy. And again, you can't give away what you don't have. So if you're not on a five, you're not doing the extra things. That's why key number one is energy. Dave or Todd, you want to add anything to that before I move to number two? Well, Please. tell me if I'm dragging, so I wake up and I'm dragging and I feel like I'm a two or a three, like what are, 
what are just a couple of quick things I can do if I got a call in, you know, say 10 or 15 minutes to get my, my energy level up? Uh, great question. And I covered some of this in the Modern Real Estate Summit. Number one is decide to listen to your positive voice versus your negative voice. Your positive voice is like, cool, I've got that call at, you know, three o'clock today. This is going to be awesome. Your negative voice is going, oh my gosh, we've got another call and we've got another closing. So it's almost like a, a perspective shift. And then also realizing that gratitude is rocket fuel. We were talking about this before we went live. When you shift into a state of gratitude, and some people, their negative voices roll their eyes and go, going, he's going to sound like grandpa talking about how blessed we are. We have food in the fridge and a roof over our head. Guess what? We are blessed. And when you start realizing, like, there's people in all sorts of challenging situations right now. I love what I do. I serve these families and their mortgage needs. I have all these amazing real estate professional partners. I'm going to link up with this call at 930 then you've shifted yourself and all of a sudden your two is at a three, three and a half, maybe a four. Meanwhile, you haven't even gotten out of your seat yet. Does that make sense, Todd? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I, uh, I just always say that because that's the number one challenge I get when I talk to people who say, well, I'm just dragging. I wasn't feeling it is, you know, how to get there. So I just want, I want to hear from you because you're the master. So some, something that came through my mind when you were talking, you mentioned that you're, you're spinning in, you, know, you, you don't need to listen to these mortgage coach interviews, but you're fitting it in. And my guess is you, you spend at least an hour a day consuming content that is helping you learn, getting you, getting you into your positive voice. And then my guess is you spend an hour a day of creating content where you're, you're on a stage, you're creating something that's reusable. Is that fair? Like, like there's consume and there's create and it's every day. Jonathan? It's, it's actually three hours a day, total, all of that, and everything's super systematized. So if you said to me, I'll just use an example. If you said to me, hey, my brother is struggling with X, I can immediately mentally be like, I know what book, video, article, I can spoon feed Dave to send to his brother right now. And you go, why would you do that if you're, I, you know, if say I was your peak performance coach? Because I want Dave to win. And if Dave's worried about his brother who just vented with him about whatever, then that's what this idea of energy five is about. And then the third tip, which I'm skipping from one to three, I'll just mention, because it relates to what you asked about, Dave, is just totally wowing your clients with the value in ways that they would have never even thought about. Like, well, who, who told you that? Or who sent you that book? Or who provided that video? You go, oh, my, my mortgage professional partner. Like you want your real estate professional partners to have to almost explain why their team or their wife or their friends, like, who did that? You go, oh, my, my, my modern day mortgage professional partner. And you're thinking like, mine doesn't do that. And then naturally, obviously the referrals are coming through, but it comes down to a commitment to over delivering. And I know that sounds cheesy, you guys, but that's what it is. It's, I want my coaching clients to think this is the, I heard it from one of my clients two days ago. He said, the ROI on my coaching with you is the best thing I've ever done for my business or my personal life. And to me, that's magic because they're thinking value. Dave, you were going to make a point. I could almost tell. Yeah. Well, I want to, I want to do two things. One, I want to wrap a bow around guys. We promised you three levers to 10 X and, and we're, you know, 17, 20 minutes into this and energy level five is one of those levers. And I just want to make the point that if you can upgrade your average by a half point to a point, you might just be able to 10 extra business with that one thing. Cause, cause energy is the ultimate value prop and it, it it's, it's what powers good decision-making. It's what powers good habits like prospecting. And, and then also just, I want to wrap a bow around what, what I was trying to make the point was if you're not, consuming and being thoughtful about what you're consuming. I try to make it so it mortgage coach, I'm creating about two to three hours of content a week. And I don't expect everybody in mortgage coach to, you know, hey, I'm watching three hours of mortgage coach a week. But do I think it would be a really smart idea, whether you are a brand new loan officer, or you're a seasoned pro to watch 30 minutes to an hour of mortgage coach a week? That that's what I'm creating content for for you to do that. And then as importantly as that is I'm expecting that if you're a mortgage coach, you're leveraging technology and media to build brands, you're creating uh, content. That could be a post, that could be scripting, that could be a video to a client. Uh, it should be that, that, that 
playlist that we announced called the Agent Advantage. I think every single mortgage coach should have one or two videos that you're 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 using, you're being influenced and led by our community, and you got your own version. You've got your own Amber Kovarik move up. You know why a move, working with a mortgage coach who can help your buyer or your homeowners move up. Every one of you guys should have that. So I just want to make that point here. And uh, I'll leave it to you whether you want to go to number three or you want to unpack number two. Um, lever now. Yeah, I think we'll go to number, we'll just call number three, two now, which is this idea of total over, total over delivery of value where your clients are blown away. Like wow equals over delivery. Like when you hear wow from someone, you're sharing a story, you sent something, you called someone's mom, you like the extra effort that creates that wow. And wow is a competitive advantage and it's a total differentiator in the marketplace. There's not a lot of people that use the word wow in business and in relationships. So if you can do that with this, again, this approach of always trying to serve your real estate professional partners and do it in a way that you're doing things that are outside of the scope of what they'd expect. So I'll just use a couple examples from this week. I'll, I'll keep them tight. So I was on a call yesterday with a mortgage professional. It was late in the day. I had done a bunch of calls, had some other cool stuff I was doing. I uh, taught a 90 minute class, all the stuff. Bottom line is my negative voice wanted me to the end of the day, end of the day. But my client mentioned that his cousin is struggling. So I said, what's going on with your cousin? And he told me, I said, Text me his phone number as soon as we hang out. I'm like, I'm not positive I can call him now. I'm going to check in with Karen real quick. Then I'm going to circle back. I'll either call him tonight or I'll call him tomorrow morning. And he's like, okay. And I go, just text your cousin. Tell him I'm going to call him. And so long story short, he texts me. I go out to Karen. I say, you know, hey, hon, are you cool if I do like a 10 or 15 minute call? One of my clients, his cousin's having a tough time. And then my negative voice wants to whine the whole time, right? Like, no, no, it's five o'clock. My wife's awesome. She goes, oh, dinner is in 20 minutes. I go, cool. I'll be out within 15 minutes. And I come in. Boom. I call this guy and just have this awesome conversation, turn him, and I'm out. Now, that's a mortgage professional that I'm his peak performance coach. I don't have all the answers, but I do know the right questions to ask people. And I believe in those 10 or 15 minutes, his cousin had really shifted. I also sent him a video text, the cousin, by the way, this morning, and then he followed up how appreciative he was and how he had kind of shifted through that. That is just an example Another example, I was coaching one of my clients, again, another mortgage professional, and he was mentioning how meditation has been pivotal, pivotal to him in the past. And I said, oh, we got to get that dialed back in in your morning routine. And he said, oh, I don't do it anymore because it takes me 10 minutes to quiet my mind. And I said, okay, we can crack that. And then I said, here are a couple tips, but here's what I'll do. I'll find videos and articles from Olympic biathletes they're probably the masters is this quick, you know, quieting of the mind. They go from cross country skiing to shooting. I'll find the videos. I'll find the articles. I'll provide you with the best ones. And in that email, I'll give you the three to four tips. I think we can get your 10 minutes down to three minutes. And then you can implement the meditation strategy as soon as you get that email. That's very different than me telling my client, like, yeah, I think there's, here's some tips. And I kind of randomly throw it at them. And that's that energy of five goes, find the article, find the video, spoon feed them, go to the modern real estate summit, go to Kelly. She nailed that explanation, spoon feed your potential or existing real estate professional partner in your value. And again, differentiation in the crowded marketplace, you're 10xing. 10x might sound like some cheesy infomercial thing that you see on the screen. Forget that. You can actually do it. But you have to be super intentional about it. You have to be purposeful about it. And you got to elevate your own game to get to an energy level five, to jump on the call at 505, or to actually read the stuff and spoon feed it. So I know I'm like on my uh, soapbox right now, but uh, Dave or Todd, you guys want to add anything to that? Well, I mean, I, I just love the idea of spoon feeding, right? I mean, it's no different than the rest of us. We all want the easy button. Yeah. And your, 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 your partners want the easy button too. So if you're going to, you know, what an easy, what a great idea, a great illustration of how to add value. So, yeah, I could, we could do a whole session on wow. And Jonathan, we, we probably should, it'd be fun uh, to do that because, you know, one, the name of mortgage coach guys, just as a reminder is, is wow tools. So mortgage coach is a DBA of wow tools, Inc. And, and that was, that was really when I had my breakthrough 
20 plus years ago as a salesperson is when I realized that the killing it in sales is just as simple is consistently and systematically wowing your customers. Uh, in fact, Jonathan, it's uh, one of these days I'm going to write a book. I own the domain wowselling.com. And, uh, and I, I've, I've got a book in me around wow. So we could, we could go on forever on this. I, I guess I would, I, it makes me want to ask you tactically, because I have a couple ideas, but what would, you know, if we were going to give people a list of just things they could do that would, consistently and systematically create that wow for realtors? What are, what are some of those wows that first come to mind, Jonathan? I think the first thing is, and, and this is, and people be like, I don't think I can do that, but I'm going to test you guys. Deliver as much value to the team and the family of your real estate professional partners as you do to the real estate professional partners. You can say, what's even by that? Like how many more modern mortgage professionals are totally like loving on and connecting with and thanking the admin assistant or the team lead manager of your real estate professional partner? And most people would kind of look away and they go, oh, she's nice. She's cool. When I call, when's the last time you asked her about her kids or you asked her what she's into, or you asked her, you know, her, if she's read a certain book that you think is amazing and then you actually sent it to her, we miss that. And then the second thing is when people mention things about their family, if you really care about someone, you care about their family as much as they do. And people could say, what does that mean? Like, no, literally, you want the kids to win. You want their wife to win. You want their, if they say their mom's struggling, you say, how can I help out? I've done that with my clients. I go, oh, I can call your mom. I can, I can get her in a state of gratitude. Get, you know, text me your number, I'll call her. And then that executive can go back to serving families while I call his mom and check in and see if I can help her. I'm kind of rambling on. So there's bigger things like that. There's also sending out the books, this spoon feeding thing we could talk about for hours, spoon feed it, where it's like, oh, it's so easy to work with Susie. She just sends me these tools. She sent me this ridiculous modern real estate summit thing. That's all this value. She spoon fed what I needed. And then your values going up and then little things, the little things matter. Uh, I've never used the word talk in a text or email in the last decade. I don't want to talk to people. I want to connect with them. And I'm pretty sure they don't want to talk with me. They want to connect. If you look at all my communication, it's always, Dave, it was awesome connecting with you today. I have not sent an email in the last decade without using the person's first name at the beginning and take care with their name at the end. So you go, how does that create? Wow. It creates differentiation in the compound effect of connecting versus talking, video text versus, you know, you, we need your income verification, you know, little things, these little nuggets of I care, we're a team, I called your mom, I called your cousin, I sent the book, then all of a sudden, you're almost playing a different game. And I'll just, I'll stop on my rant. And I'll just say one thing, combination of energy five, combination of a commitment to wow of your clients, Combine that as a modern mortgage professional using the incredible mortgage coach, it's game over. That's when you're licking your chops in the morning being like, who am I going to serve today? Well, I, and, and you got to win by noon. Uh, so so I, I did, I did want to add a, a couple of wow things. And, and you pulled out one of them, and I hope everybody heard it, was the text video. When you send a 15-second 30 second text video saying thank you or making communication more personal and more efficient for a consumer or a realtor, it's a wow. So I wanna make sure y'all heard that. Also something in this market right now uh, came from my interview with Michael Harrington, who is currently, he closed 25 loans last month. Uh, he's one of Jonathan's coaching clients and he, he is averaging over the last 30 day at 83% win rate. So his pre-approvals are winning 83% of the time. And, and what's an incredible, like we're talking a historic inventory crisis. Now he, he did give the caveat, Hey, I'm in Houston. I'm not in Austin. I'm not in some of these just ridiculous hot markets. So, but, but he's in a multiple offer state market, like all of his deals are getting multiple offers and he's winning 83% of the time because he's doing what he calls the warm and fuzzy call to listing agents. And I know well enough 
that listing agents aren't getting lots of loan officers calling to provide clarity, confidence, and safety around their buyers. But when they do, it's a wow. Uh, so I just want to acknowledge that. I also want to acknowledge we've had Pinky uh, Shaw join us. What's what's up, Pinky? Hello, everyone. Good to see you all. Great Good. information, Jonathan. Enjoying it. Awesome. Thanks, Pinky. So, so Pinky is almost a grandmaster. She's at like a little over 900 TCAs and Pinky, I can't wait for doing that, that grandmaster interview, but she's a, she's an awesome mortgage coach black belt on the East coast. I interviewed, what was about six weeks ago. We did our first interview. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, and you were, you were awesome. And I'm going to bring Pinky in because she's got a cool story and strategy on how she's using mortgage coach, how she's using the fact that she's a leader in the community. But Pinky, let's do that in about another five or 10 minutes. Are you going to be able to be on the rest of the call? Yes. I'm okay. Yes. Thanks. Okay. So let's, let's try to make it. Jonathan is delivering this presentation, three moves to 10 X your value to realtors. Move number one, five X energy. And we talked about that for 20 minutes and he killed it. And then number two, be the wow, deliver the wow in big ways and little ways. Uh, John, is there anything you want to add to the wow before we get to the third lever? I'll just reiterate this commitment to that level of service and impact. And when you have that intention ahead of time, going the extra mile is just natural. You've already, just like an athlete, an athlete can, can you know, go into a game or a PGA player, like they want to compete or they want to qualify for the weekend. They should be going into the event like they're going to win it. And if they've done the preparation in advance, they have that mindset and the marketplace feels that with the other athletes feel that. And when you go in with the intention, I'm wowing the people I interact with, like not that you need them to write that back, but you want them to be like, wow. And, and again, that's earned. Wow. Isn't given out. It's earned. The energy level of five isn't given out. It's earned. But if you want to have a blast, if you want to be in a state where you're almost giddy, like annoyingly so to other people where they're like, why is Pinky so happy? It's like, cause she's just having a blast. She's serving all these families. She, and, and not surprising, all her partners are crushing it. And she's, you know, trouncing it career wise, but she'd almost do it for free. And it's like, that's why we love her. That's why she's our partner. It's wow. But again, it's earned, it's not given out. So I, that's my add on for that. Third key tip, which is incredibly impactful. I think this, this is not only just for mortgage professionals, as far as what we're discussing with really earning the opportunity to be a, a really deep and impactful partner with your real estate professional partners. I believe this is a tool for life, which is treat your real estate professional partners as if they're already truly world-class, as if they already are the top real estate professional in your entire region. And you could say, that's all he's got. Why is he, why, that's his tip? Let me unpack it, you guys. People respond to how we make them feel. I know you're not like, wow, Einstein, thanks for the deep insight. Think about it. When it's like Pinky's like, it, sorry to put, keep using it even put you on the spot, but look at her smile. Like, I don't know wh what she's going to share with us, but I'm psyched. I don't even know her, but I already like her because of the way she shows up. And, and, but the thing that when we show up in a way where we are, authentically projecting to people that we believe in them, that we have their back, that we're almost saying to them, like, I, I love to do this with anyone I'm blessed to serve or interact with. It's kind of like I'm whispering to them, like, I know you're a rock star. I know she's in there. And, and you could do this with athletes where they're like, even someone who's like, maybe they're kind of out of shape and you're like, no, 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 Todd, I know. I, I know what you can be. I know she's in there. They elevate. Like, they're like, boom. What, what, all right, what are we doing, coach? And when you do that with your real estate professional partners, what, there's a couple of key things that happen. Number one, they can feel it. Number two, you're all in. You're all in on treating them like rock stars because they are. They're human beings. My belief is if you're breathing, you're a rock star, you're world class, that's how I'm going to treat you. I don't, no one gets the good stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm talking to this pro athlete versus I'm talking to you know, someone who just is two years into the mortgage industry. It doesn't matter. Exact same conversation. They're both absolute world class. Let them know that. Let's do it. Let's serve them. And when you go in with that, whether you're talking real estate professional partners, team members, family members, this is an absolute 
game changer. Dave or Todd, or you guys want to add anything to that before I unpack it a little bit more and then we tap into Pinky's brilliance? Yeah, no, no, I, I couldn't agree more. And, and not only do you get more practice at being present and treating people awesome, you just feel better about yourself. Like there's no lagging to yourself. You know, you know, if you are doing good deeds, you know, if you are firing up, like, you know, I went and got coffee earlier this morning and, you know, firing up the people that touch you, uh, you know it and you feel good about it. So, yeah. you know, if you're super selfish and you don't want to do it for other people, like do it for yourself. Like you will be more pumped up. Uh, no, that's all I have to say for that. But I want to also give Pinky a chance to unpack some of your stuff. But why don't you uh, kind of finish move number three and then we'll bring Pinky in. I'm going to finish move number three real quick with a quick story. So that lesson of treat, it was from my beautiful late mom. Uh, my mom was incredible. She was only here for 49 years, but I had 12 magical years with her. And her number one thing, I remember it like it was a minute ago, she'd say, the biggest thing, treat everyone as if they already are who they have the potential to be. That was her lesson. And uh, real quickly, I mentioned earlier about this idea of sending books. So I send a book to one of my uh, mortgage professionals and she takes it, she's rocking it. And then another point, she says to me, there's this incredible book. It's called the 5 a.m. Club. I've talked about it before. I sent it to you, Dave. And and whenever someone says that, just a quick coaching tip, when someone speaks to a book on a level where like this thing's awesome, invest in it. So long story short, I buy the book and I'm reading in the book and at one point, and again, this relates back to treat everyone as if they already are who they have the potential to be. At one point in the book, the author mentions that in the story that he met his wife at a bookstore asking for the book, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Okay. The only reason I'm reading that book, by the way, is because I have been gifting books to my client and it's all coming full circle. So remember Dave just mentioned about this idea of, you know, it all comes full circle, even if you just do it for yourself, treat people this way. So I'm reading that. It says Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I then realize I have that book. I come down and grab it. I had not read it. And then it connects that that book was my sister had told me back in 2013 that my mom named me after that book. Okay, that's why I had it. And the only reason I bought it is because we had made a memorial bench for my mom with a quote, the quote on that bench is from Jonathan Livingston Seagull. And very long story short, I grabbed the book, which again flows from what I had just mentioned. And that book was published in 1970. I was born in 72. My mom's entire parenting, all her lessons are all the lessons in Jonathan Livingston Seagull. And in the last chapter, he explains to Jonathan the Seagull that if he would just treat people as if they already are who they have the potential to be, not exact words, but it's pretty much what he said. And that all came full circle initially. And me at 48 at the time, now 49, I have this like, the book that my mom used to create the foundation of my being and all of that you could link back to the books. My mortgage client who I mentioned, uh, she is an absolute, she's doing 50 million now. I think she was at 13 when I started coaching her. She's absolutely trouncing it. The bottom line is we all deserve just to show up for life. If you want to have a blast for the rest of your days on this planet, implement this. Treat everyone as if they're already who they have the potential to be. They can feel it. You can feel it. Your real estate professional partners can feel it. You will have an absolute blast with it. Love, love that. It, it reminded me, have you ever um, read the book, The Art of Possibility by Benjamin Zander? Are you familiar with who Benjamin Zander is? Mm -hmm. So it's got a great TED talk. Uh, he was the conductor for the Boston Philharmonic. Uh, truly, like if it wasn't my all-time favorite presentation, I saw him do at um, Tim Brahim's business planning event many years ago, but he's, he's got a chapter and it. it's called giving an A and it's the same premise. Like he assumes every student is an A student and they have to work their way down. You know, you have to, to lose your A and it's always been something that, I mean, sometimes easier said than done, but it's such a powerful concept, Jonathan. 
so so Pinky, you have been listening for about 15-ish minutes. Any any comments, any thoughts, anything that you took away as a, a top producing loan officer, yeah, and branch I, manager? I love what all of you had to, I mean, Jonathan, I love what you're sharing. It's absolutely so applicable and so, you know, everyday use. So I love it. And I think what I would like to add to what you say, because I believe a hundred percent of what you say in the art of possibility and uh, which I, I've heard that book too, Dave. And I'm also a 5 a.m. clubber, by the way. So <laughs> not surprising to me. Yeah. yeah. So speaking my language here. And I think Dave and Todd, I've seen you guys do so many of these uh, masterminds and you are masters of living, letting people be the possibility of what they are because your introductions to everyone are so wonderful that you've got to show up amazing because you just, the way that you introduce somebody, it's just, you know that, as you said, Jonathan, you're just expecting wonderful things from them. So the one thing I want to add to that, in, in addition to what you all said is treat yourself that same way is what I would just add to it. Because mm -hmm. I know that I was good at doing it with other people, but for me to do it to myself was harder and it took me a while before I could treat myself as the possibility of being the rock star. It was always hardest on myself. So if there's anyone else out there like that, that was not as nice to themselves as they were to everybody else, I'll just remind you to you know, treat yourself as a possibility of everything that you can be as well. Pinky, that's so awesome. Any examples of that that you have that you did that, hey, I was like this and I did this or I changed this and... I got this out of it. Anything come to mind? Absolutely. Yeah, I do. I write affirmations every morning. Um, I've been doing that for, I don't know how many, quite a few years. And before I did, it was, you know, before I was producing what I was, I would write, I am a, you know, top producing loan officer, right? I am a great manager. I am a great leader. And I would write those things down and have to tell myself that I was. And when I'd go into a team meeting, if I had a bad meeting the day before, I would have, I would self-talk and I still do quite frankly, I still, this is still a part of my practice where I talk to myself before and I say, okay, you are an inspirational leader. You need to go lead these folks and they believe in you and you need to lead them to success. And so I say that to myself before I go into meetings many times still. So I still apply it. Love it. Jonathan, anything you want to add to that or comment on? I can't add much to that. That is so spot on. And some people, you know, everyone has a negative voice, positive voice, and the negative voice hears that and goes, that's a bunch of rah-rah, it works. It does Because the way you speak to yourself is the way you feel about yourself. And then again, that relates to that confidence. We can all feel it. You, you can feel it in Pinky right now. It's like, we're ready. We don't know exactly what she's going to share, but it's like, we want to hear it. And, and part of that, again, is the preparation when the lights are off. We give people credit. They show, oh my gosh, Todd's so positive, and Pinky's great, and, uh, and Dave, and... But, but there's a lot of work behind the scenes. And I just, I love what you just said because you, know, you want to speak to yourself. And as you said, Nikki, treat yourself as kindly as you treat others. That's absolutely spot on. Yeah. So Jonathan, you're always full of great quotes. Uh, you know, here's a quote you just said, the way you speak to yourself is the way you feel about yourself. And nothing more true than that. And, and then the, the add on to that, and the way you feel about yourself is the way others are going to feel about you. You know, if you're feeling super pumped, super good, super grateful, you're going to attract that. You're going to bring that and it just manifests itself. And uh, anyways, this has been powerful. Uh, Todd, you haven't got to chat for a while. I want to bring Pinky into the dialogue, but anything you want to put a bookend on or any questions you have? Well, I'm just busy. I'm just busy taking notes. I, I mean, I think it's just so important. I think that I love that Pinky talked about that, you know, brought the, the self-talk in and, and making sure that you're doing that as well. I mean, it makes me really think of vision, right? When, when Pinky had a vision that, that she was going to be a top producer and she wrote the affirmations and did it, I think it's just such a great reminder. If you haven't really thought through, you know, where are we trying to go, right? Really dug in on vision. Um, you know, definitely there's some other interviews here, of some, some coaches who have talked through it. And just, I would just remind you that you've got to be thinking big about where you're trying to go. And then I love, I've never been an affirmation person. I've always thought I should be. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a note here. Uh, Pinky, you'll have to hold me accountable to that. Um, but I'm, I'm super excited to uh, hear. I, 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 we've been trading emails and I saw Pinky's post in Facebook about what she's doing with the Modern Real Estate Summit. So I'm kind of excited to uh, hear about that. Yeah, me too. Well, let's, let's do that, Pinky. Um, I, I just looked, I interviewed you on March 15th. And the title of that was how to be a mortgage strategist. And so I know 
like, I know your why on that. You want to be a mortgage strategist because it makes you more valuable to both realtors and borrowers. What are, what are other things you're doing in this market, you know, following this theme of the call to be more valuable to agents in today's market? Well, I'm going to thank you guys because you gave me an amazing tool to be able to use, right, <laughs> to be more valuable in that modern real estate summit. So I took advantage of what you offered us as, as a resource and absolutely thank you for putting together an incredibly dynamite, you know, lineup and just well organized. Everyone loved that it was bite size. So that was a big win that you thought to make them bite size pieces. And so I took advantage of that basically is what I did. Uh, I always say I'm not the most creative person, but I'm good at taking what other people do and making it my own. So that's what I, I did with what you did. And so I took advantage of modern real estate and I was a little bit late to the game. So I didn't get it out to as many people as I wanted. But um, the week before I started just picking up the phone, calling people, inviting them, I got one of your packages, the 25, I think is how many I bought. Um, and then just gave it out to real estate agents. Um, and I did like a blast text to them because I couldn't get through all the phone calls that I wanted to. And I did. We have some, you know, a Jungo and some, you know, 360 Magic, all that, all those fun tools and blasted it to a couple hundred agents just to see who responded because I was like, couldn't get through all the phone calls. And so I got, I think 16 or 17 tickets have been used and I'm still using them to say, hey, you still have 14 days left, guys, go on and watch it. So I'm still trying to use up the rest of them in that way. Um, but so then what I did afterwards was I had a phone call. We had a, um, I've been doing the appraisal gap strategy, which uh, Amber has taught us as loan officers quite some time ago. So I've been using it. And then one of the, my agents was using, called me about a deal that we had together. She, ha she watched the real estate summit and she said, do you know that thing that they talked about? I want to go back and watch what Amber did. And I said, well, I can explain it to you as well. I said, are you in front of your computer? And I said, I'm going to send you a quick link or yeah, I sent her the link to one that I had just done for another client, showed it to her. And she was completely mind blown that that was even an option, that that was something we could do. So that was really great to be able to just share it. And, but it, it was because Amber put it in front of him because of modern real estate. Am I right? Because I may have talked about it at high level, but because they saw a little bit of it, it, it made them ask me about it. And so what I'm finding is that another agent that I spoke to said that they liked it. It's one that I don't do business with, but she's been attending a lot of my different events and stuff. So I invited her to it as well. She took advantage of it. I followed up and called her and she said, that's really great stuff. And she said, some of the stuff that people are doing are great. And I said, well, you know, I do all those things, right? And she said, no, I didn't. <laughs> so it was kind of great because again, it was put in front of her it, without me doing self-promotion in a really cool way. So she well, said, that's amazing. So it, it led to some really great conversation with that agent too. Well, well, listen to you guys, the, 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 the process is really simple. Like Peaky consumed the content, so she heard it. And then she got realtors to hear it. So they're getting ideas and strategies from agents and other loan officers. And then she created content. She, she gave a presentation following that playbook. And then Pinky, the one thing, I don't know if you've done this yet, but I would push you to do it, is to create your own three minute video that you either put in a YouTube channel or Facebook. You know, you're, you, you create your version of that Amber video and you use it in your marketing. And then of course you, you leverage it in your one-on-ones. Is that on your roadmap of things to do? That is on my roadmap, yeah. And if I could share one more thing, a similar, I, I took a different spin on it too, and this happened just yesterday. If I, so I was in a women's council of realtors. I'm a strategic partner in that. And everyone had to just speak for a couple of minutes about what they do. So I, you know, instead of saying I'm a mortgage lender and I do blah, I went on and I said, hey, I'm helping people win their offers. And this is, you know, I'm an, I, again, it was from Real Estate Summit. I think, I don't remember who said it, but somebody said they're offer acceptance strategists or specialists. So I said, that's- That, that was Sean Herrero. Yeah, it was a Sean pretty Herrero, So thank you, Sean. Um, so I used that. I said, I'm an offer acceptance specialist. And so we're doing things like appraisal gap strategies. We're doing these things. And I put in a couple of those things and that's all. So I had like a minute or two. I said that and it led to, can we go back to Pinky? Like everyone said, can we go back to what Pinky said? So then literally it was uh, 15 minutes of then me. And then, and then I had, I don't know, there was maybe 15 agents on the call. Again, I shared my screen. I'm like, here's, let me just show you what it looks like. And I walked him through a TCA of the appraisal gap strategy. Um, I had done a template one, so I kept that ready and I shared it with them. 
and mind blown. So from that, then I took it even further. And I was like, well, that was kind of cool. I didn't know that, like, they didn't know this stuff because they, they were like, some of them were veterans that have been in the business for 30 years, platinum producers. And they said, we didn't know this was even an option that you could do something like this. So I said, hmm, there's a lot of room for education here. So then I was, had my time block before noon, Todd, uh, to call my partners prospecting. So I was hopping on those calls and I said, you know, I called the first and I said, I was thinking, I was on this webinar with Women's Council and they didn't know some of these things um, that we do. So I realized maybe you don't know them. I was thinking next week, how about I just do a Zoom and I'm just gonna invite the agents that I do business with and that you think of me all the time. And I'm gonna share with you some of these things that could help you close more and convert more of your clients. Would you be interested in that? And I got a bunch of yeses. So I've got at least six, and I haven't gotten through all the calls yet, but I've got like seven agents already, I think that said they wanna do a Zoom. So next Thursday morning at 9.30, I'm doing a Zoom with people who already refer me and sharing some of these things with them. So that's what I ended up doing. With I love that, Pinky. So, so guys, the fortune is in the follow-up. And, and whether that's, hey, a lead comes in, how quickly do you get to it? How fast do you follow up? You get a realtor, do you follow up forever? And an event like the Modern Real Estate Summit, all the money is made in the follow-up. And I love how you're following up. So I'd, I'd love to transition. We got 10 minutes left, but we've got Jonathan here. And one of, the, one of the visions Todd and I have is that we want this, the content from that event to continue to be valuable. And so, you know, one of the things that we think loan officers should be doing is sometimes it's a mortgage strategy like Amber's move up or appraisal gap. And sometimes it's some other content in, in the modern summit. And, and we think whether it's in person or whether it's on zoom to like pick specific presentations and then be inspired by those, consume them, take notes, and then teach them like bring them into a realtor meeting. And so like, this is an example of where I logged into the, the Modern Real Estate Summit. And let's say I wanted to bring some leadership to agents around, you know, level five energy and how to get to level five energy. And, and literally we could just click this button and play this and, and let Jonathan be the teacher. Uh, or we could like know where the gold is like, I want to almost do like a book study group. Jonathan Roach here coming to you from my hometown of Citroen, Massachusetts. This is real in the background. This is not some background. The bottom line is we can, we, we, we can have some teacher's notes where we don't want to teach a lesson. We could skip around. For your team. We could play it for two elevate. minutes. And then this we window of time is absolutely ideal. Pause. And here's the deal, guys. You're now a mortgage professional and you've got a 25, you know, 25 consecutive Boston marathons, 12 uh, Ironmans, coach and performance leader. You've got him in your meeting with you. Uh, so let's brainstorm on that, Jonathan, because I would love for this presentation you did to get more than just the views of the live event. So let's, let's do this. Let's have you go first, Jonathan. And then Pinky, how would you leverage this piece of content or another piece of content in a, in a realtor meeting. So Jonathan, what are your thoughts on this? I, I think that the vision of, like, again, I've said it probably too many times for one call, but this idea of spoon feed the content, the tools, the strategies based on the potential pain or irritants or things that your real estate professional partners are focusing on at that time. And then again, go in with this strategy of wow and over delivering. So uh, for instance, right? So say someone's talking about like having trouble with my team, they're like their energy is kind of low, we're kind of executing on the vision, but they're kind of off. They go, well, there's this eight but, minute- but, By the way, Jonathan, not to cut you off, but Zoom fatigue is a thing. Like every team, everybody's got Zoom fatigue. So maybe frame it around that, just a thought. Yeah, so instead of here's an eight minute video, uh, here is an eight minute video, but I suggest you go to uh, two, exactly 214 into it. And he covers this idea of energy of five. It's it's a 80 second. So like if I got that from Pinky, that's super spoon fed, right? Like energy five, go to 214, you play this thing for 80 seconds and show that in a conference room to my team. But again, it's this idea of get right down. My big thing with my clients, 
is this idea of there's a funnel, right? There's all this information and tools and videos and strategies and books and, and all sorts of stuff. And part of our wow, part of our 10X our value is to be the curator. In most people, unless you're an energy of five, I can tell Pinky is as well. She's five, right? Like Pinky's going to do that. She's on the call. Yeah. Oh, next 930, next Thursday. Like we want to be the curator of the information and in, in the lower you can get and the more narrow you can get the bottom of the funnel, the more your value goes up. Love that. Pinky, what about you? What are your, what are your thoughts on that? I, I like the concept of what Jonathan, you're saying about the spoon feed. That's a really, you know, great way to look at it because sometimes we give them the information, but we don't direct them enough. And, you know, everyone is busy. Everyone has 20 different things being thrown at them and 20 different people giving them different ways that they could grow. And so the easier that we make it, I, I love that way of thinking about it, the easier we could make it to take advantage of it, the better it is. And, and Jonathan, your energy level is like well above a five in my book. I mean, <laughs> so you've got, you've got awesome, amazing energy. And I think that, you know, like leveraging that data in that leveraging your video and being able to have that, I, Dave, I agree with you. Like I can see my, I would I actually wanted to play your video for my team personally. So I'm going to do that and leverage it, not just for the agents, but also for like folks within our teams too. So I think that the content is definitely very good. And I was planning to play one of those, um, pieces when I do a video marketing class. So next Wednesday, I have a video marketing class that we're doing for agents. And in it, I'm going to play a little bit of it just to talk about the power of the video too. So that's, I think that's great ways to keep leveraging this over and over again. Yeah. Well, well, Jonathan, you kicked it all off with, you gotta, you know, you gotta treat your team right. So I definitely think Jonathan's nine minute presentation is something that every leader in the mortgage coach community should be looking at first and foremost for themselves. Uh, you know, what are the key takeaways for me? And then what do I want to bring back to my team? And then making the time and space to spoon feed it to them and have a conversation around it. Uh, it's a nine minute piece of content, but I think you could easily schedule a, a 30 minute to one hour meeting with your own team and, and we'd all be better off for it. So, so Todd, anything you want to add before we bring Jonathan in for kind of wrapping a bow around this whole thing and making sure everybody got what he was here to deliver? Yeah, I just want to connect a couple of dots and give an action plan to some of you, right? Dave just said the fortune is in the follow-up, right? You heard uh, Jonathan um, talk about what he would do. You heard Pinky talk about how she took action on what she learned at the summit, right? She's it's the whole idea of swipe and adapt. She didn't have to create anything new. All she did was create her own version of what she learned. And then she went out there and did it with the Women's Council. She went out there and now she's planning something with her um, her actual partners, and and you can do it too, right? The the data is there, right? You you don't have to create it. You can literally watch those videos and recreate on your own, and then come up with your own version of it. So I just want to congratulate you, Pinky. I love that you're executing at that level, and uh, looking forward to hear Jonathan tie a bow on uh, what's been a great hour. Yeah, I'll, I'll just add on. I, I'm a huge Pinky fan. Like your vibes, awesome. Her like she's a she's a an action taker, right? There's like two groups of people in the world, right? Like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. It's like, no, 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 stop saying you're gonna do it. We gotta do it. And, and again, energy is how you take action. And energy also, by the way, as you fuel your energy to get up to that level five, your ability to fend off the negative voice that says they're not gonna, they're not even gonna answer Pinky, or that was kind of weird. Did you see the look she gave you when you went for the ask? That, that's our inner, our, you know, our inner critic is dying to get to the podium. And that inner critic is like in the basement when you're at five, because the positive voice at the podium, like pinky cool next Thursday, 930, let's do this. And all of a sudden everyone can feel that. So just to reiterate at the end, the three key points, number one, invest the time, energy, focus and follow through in getting your energy to five. Commit to that. I believe your number one business strategy for 2021 is energy level of five. I believe that. I, I said earlier in the year, I thought it was, you know, the things you're not going to do is what's going to lead to this year being the best year. But I believe before even that, investing and getting to that energy level of five, that then positions you to replicate the pinkies of the world that are over delivering. Wow. Like, wow. In, in that, that second key strategy, wow. Set the intention, set your standards and expectations. You are someone who wows your real estate professional partners. And then 
Third, this idea of treat every partner, current and prospective, like they're already world-class. They're already an industry leader. They're already a rock star. And when you communicate with them, you follow up with them, you treat them like that, you're immediately in a different situation where you set the stage to earn their trust. Pinky set the stage for all of us by her warmth, her positivity. Again, I said it a couple of times, but we were already in. It's like, regardless of what she was at, we were already fans. But she had set that by, I believe, showing up with this intention, positivity, vibe, energy of five, wow, sharing. And when you do that, again, I said it earlier, you have an absolute blast. And it's, it's super nerdy, but you almost can't believe you get to do this. Like, this is crazy. I can't lose my job. Jonathan, it's always a gift, brother. You are a gift to the mortgage coach community, the, the captain of level five energy and vibe. Uh, I will be re-listening to this. Uh, I'm sure I'll be creating some micro content because you just make it easy, dude. Like every single time there's like, oh, I mean, a quote, a takeaway. Uh, Pinky, you are a massive gift to the mortgage coach community. That post that you made a couple days ago, just, I, I didn't care that you said thank you to Todd and I, although that was nice. Um, but I just posting that like, hey, I use this content. You followed up. And you created value for someone else and yourself, like very rewarding. Uh, that's why Todd and I do what we do. That's why we do these Friday masterminds. And that's why we, we did that event to create change and create value. So thank you, Pinky, for uh, being the person to amplify that in your marketplace. Thank you. Thank you. I'm honored and humbled to be on this uh, with you guys. You're all rock stars. And I tell you, it's, it's a dream to be here, you know, to be sharing. And Jonathan, thank you. Um, blushing if you can see it <laughs> so thank you <laughs> yeah well your your energy is amazing Vicky. like like uh, jonathan said just your smile you're on it uh i'm looking forward to continuing to interview you let's make sure when you uh hit uh red belt status you're about let's say you're about three months out uh let's make sure we have another interview and talk about that if you're cool with it absolutely so coach todd win by noon how do you want to wrap it up brother well, I think you just nailed it, Dave. Listen to it again, right? There's so many takeaways. You've got, you know, uh, a great roadmap from Jonathan. You've got some great examples of things that you can do from Pinky. And now's your opportunity to do it. All right, guys, this is a wrap. Give this a like if you got value from it. Share it with your mortgage friends. Jonathan, thank you, brother. And Pinky, until next time. Take care, everybody. Thank Have you. a great weekend. Awesome, guys.